All right, so the meeting is now being recorded. Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming to the July member meeting of Famalab. This is the first member meeting of the new board officially. So thank you all, and we're thank you to everyone. <laughs> yeah, we're off to a great start. <laughs> thank you to everyone who came to the annual meeting virtually and voted in the board election and the uh, policy update. Um, so we've gotten the link for everyone to join, more or less. Uh, da, 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 da. All right, so we're going to start like we usually do with a financial update from Dan. Hey, um, let me get my financial update together or find where I put it. There we go. No, wrong one. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm. There we go. Okay. Why? Where did my numbers go? Anyway, I'm sorry. I'm having a slight problem here. Did you leave them in the pocket universe? Uh, I, I had numbers on a sheet, and they're not there anymore. Um, I know that is not what anybody wants to hear the treasurer say. <laughs> um, wait a moment. Never meetings, minutes. Well, I know the donations were $50. I, there was actually more than that. I, and I don't know what just happened to the, uh, the uh, Google sheet that I was working on. I'm did, so annoyed. Did it get moved out to another one? I am, did I edit the wrong one? Um, Are we running two of everything today? <laughs> yes, I don't, I'm, I'm very confused because I just finished editing it. Um, you know, I can tell you the short, short story. We had, we had, uh, $50 in the donation box. Uh, we actually had a hundred and thirty dollars in online donations. We had eight dollars and 49 cents from PayPal giving. And I believe that was about it for our, our standard donations. Uh, we didn't have, uh, any class, uh, income this month. Um, I'm trying to think of the numbers. We actually were down there. We had two, uh, we lost two members this month. Again, there were people that had, um, I believe uh, people that had to um, uh, cancel for, or at least suspend their membership because of financial concerns. Uh, we're trying to be a little, um, you know, flexible with our reapplication process with anybody going through that right now. Um, and then we, some other people are going to talk, I believe, a bit more in more detail about this. But for donations that are to, uh, to support the um, the PPE making project, we had, of course, uh, it was roughly three thousand from Dave Woods, the month's rent. I think it was like twenty nine something something. So roughly about three thousand dollars. It was contributed to us for the PPE making membership, uh, ma um, making effort. And um, it, there is a effort that this is what I say other people are going to talk, talk about, but it's raised about uh, $735 so far for additional supplies for uh, the PPE uh, effort. And I'm going to go fill in these numbers now on the correct chart. And I don't, like I say, I do not know. Oh, wait. Oh, or someone's filling them in as I'm talking, I think. So um, thank you for doing that. And I'm sorry, my uh, I don't know what happened there. Anyway, that's my uh, oh, just uh, oh, beyond that, uh, beyond the, the numbers, uh, there are a couple things that are going on um, right now. There's a partially because of the uh, the you know the fun times we're all living through, uh, and partially because uh, we w wanted to make more of an effort uh, to do this anyway, uh, we've been looking at more and more types of grants or different programs that we can apply to either as part of the the PPE uh, production effort uh, to get some help and uh, funding to support that or just in general for the lab. There's uh, you know, a number of uh, grants, a lot that are centered around the, uh, the current you know, um, pandemic and the economic fallout from that. Um, 
you know, Seminole County in particular just received one that had uh, or was authorized for one that has uh, money earmarked for nonprofits in the county. So we're applying to that and some other things uh, as we find them that are trying to make more of an effort on that front. As that pans out, hopefully, uh, I will uh, keep everybody updated on what's going on with it. So that's about it. And thank you for adding in the numbers. Uh, Lily? I'm working between two computers because I've got my webcam at lab. Okay, uh, thank you, Dan. Um, Chris, did you want to talk about the PPP, PPE? I would, be, uh, I, I, I would be delighted, and I will keep this as informative and neutral as possible. So my fellow board members, if I get too screamy political, please shut me up. Always do. All right. Thank you. Okay. So, yes. Yeah, so um, we have an enormous new PPE push going on, um, uh, hopefully the, for the Seminole County schools, um, because the, the kids are being sent back um, without uh, strong enough masking guidelines. Um, so um, we are manu uh, manufacturing thousands of heartbreakingly tiny face shields to distribute through uh, to distribute through the schools. Um, we need every single bit of help that we can get. There's less than a month before they go back to school. Um, and so number one is um, just join the PPE volunteers channel. Uh, if you think that you would have any time or resources that can help, even if you don't, uh, you're not quite sure um, how you can help. Um, because we need uh, lots of people for lots of roles. So it's not just a financial ask. Um, there's a big list of materials um, that would be lovely to have donated um, with the very important caveat um, that please do not buy materials uh, for donation um, because uh, that money would uh, be better spent contributing to the GoFundMe um, because we'll be buying in bulk and also because um, even small donations uh, when shared on social media um, uh, we're seeing have a, have a pretty big compounding and snowballing effect. Like our first $200 uh, came in when as soon as the GoFundMe was up, I just donated, you know, uh, 25 bucks. That could have even been 10, shared it on my Facebook wall, and another 200 came in from connections, um, uh, just, you know, from my contact list, and I don't Facebook, all right? So um, the social media exposure right now for the sake of funding is probably the single most important thing that can happen. Okay. Um, beyond that, um, for people that will have a little bit more time on their hands, um, at some point, it would be really nice to have somebody who could do some welding work for us, maybe a carpenter, camera guy, and video editor, so we can do a better job in making pretty social media, uh, maybe even a graphic designer, um, so we can have uh, an insert printed up um, to go with the shield to the teachers, so they know proper usage. So um, the idea that I'm pointing at is just there are a large number of possible ways to contribute. So if you want to help, PPE Volunteers Channel. Okay. Uh, any questions or other comments or? Will you be at the lab tomorrow? I will absolutely be at the lab tomorrow. Um, I have uh, fairly unique um, life circumstances. So I am going to be doing this uh, essentially full time until the schools get shut shut down again. Okay, so anybody, do not feel shy uh, to ask questions. Contact me, like I'm here and doing this. Hey, Chris, what uh, carpentry work are you looking to have done? Oh, so um, at, at some point, um, actually, you know what? Uh, never mind. <laughs> Okay. Um, that, that was uh, the original idea was um, we'd actually um, uh, looked at uh, some good organizational videos um, to look at how uh, other maker spaces had really scaled up uh, their operations and um, they built um, custom like uh, custom rigs for the sake of socially distanced disinfection lines. Okay. And so I had that running in my mind as something that we would probably need to do. But we have a biology lab with a class two biosafety cabinet. So that makes all of that completely moot. Uh, okay. they, they, they had to do crazy things because they don't have a bio lab. Okay. Uh, but is thanks. That, is that the same thing with the welding or 
was that something else? Uh, no, actually, um, Michelle had a really good idea because you know we um, we're having big uh, problems with um, uh, masking here at the space, and we want to just remove every uh, excuse possible. Um, so someone floated the idea of a picnic table um, under. Apparently, we have a tent somewhere in the in the warehouse. And I think that'd be a really nice thing to get set up, like an outside safer break area um, to take to take breaks and eat and drink when when that would be a feasible alternative mm -hmm. to uh, dropping mask inside the building. OK, well, I'll get with you about that later. OK. Yeah. And thank you. Thank your wife for the great idea. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> Thanks, Michelle. That was a great idea. <laughs> Awesome. Thank you, Chris. Okay. Does anybody have any questions in regards to that? If you do, just are you trying to talk, Alex? You're muted. Can't hear you. <laughs> I see You're you. You're still muted. Mike's yeah. off. Oh, and she's gone. Anyways, if you have questions, reach out to Chris on Slack. Oh, oh, there she is again. Are you? All right. So message Chris on Slack or hop in PPP, uh, PPE volunteers. I work in financing. You know where my brain's at. Um, uh, next point that Chris kind of touched on is mask usage in the space. I did post in an out in announcements last <laughs> night about it. Um, if you are in Famalab, whether it be in the inside space or the warehouse, you must wear a mask, and that mask must cover your nose and mouth. Most humans breathe through their nose, so um, that's where everything comes out of. Uh, then. We need to cover that because the spread of COVID is not just through aerosol. It's it's or it is aerosol, but it it will fall on surfaces. It will stay airborne and fall on the other side of the building. That I know I didn't even think of. Uh, Chris corrected me swiftly. Uh, there is no safe way to be unmasked in the space for other people. Um, and uh, in addition to that, please sanitize after yourself. Uh, just we have to do our best to stay safe and protect not only ourselves, but our fellow members. Um, people are joining. <laughs> um, I will be posting again a couple times in announcements about properly covering your mouth and nose. Uh, we were going to announce it tonight at the meeting, but we had to preemptively announce it last night. The board is implementing a three-strike policy in regards to non-mask -ma non-compliance. On the first offense, we will be speaking with the member who is not in compliance and educating them and making sure that they understand the importance of proper mask adherence. Uh, on the second offense, we will be doing a one-week ban from Famalab in that we'll be turning off your 24-7 access to the space. Um, after that, we if you offend a third time after that, we are revoking your membership. Um, we do not tread this, this path lightly. We have only had to re revoke one membership in the history of fam lab in 10 years um but the severity of the COVID situation in florida is growing astronomically it's it, it, it's basically people need to stay safe like if the if the state and local governments are not My headset keeps cutting out. Um, basically, we just need to be as safe as we can, safer than 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 the the state and. Womp womp. Shoot me now. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm trying to be serious and my headphones are getting in the way. Um, we need to be as safe as possible. Uh, the way I put it to myself, uh, what I think is good enough is not good enough at this moment. We need to do better. So that's the soapbox. Um, if you have any concerns that you would wish to discuss with the board of directors privately, feel free to message one of us or email us at board at famlab.org. Uh, and we just want everyone to be safe and stay safe. That is our overarching goal in all of this. Um, beyond that, um, open for member discussions, concerns. Does anybody have something they would like to discuss now? Or show and tell? No? Okay. Well, uh, uh, <laughs> I, I wouldn't mind saying one more thing about the PPE project then. Okay. okay. Um, which is just what the, what the biggest ask is. So um, our biggest bottleneck are the headbands. Uh, for the assemblies, and those need to be 3D printed, um, and we we cannot manufacture enough of them uh, here with the printers that we have to meet our goal. So we're also recruiting out uh, within and outside of our community, um, and that's the number one thing. So if you have a 3D printer at home, okay, most of the funding is to supply is to supply filament, so you don't have to go out of pocket if you're willing to donate machine time. Okay, and also uh, if you know other people that have 3D printers. You know, like that's that that's that's a really important ask, right? Everybody has money. Well, most people have money. Not everybody has a 3D printer, and we just need to get as many of them in the city spun up as we can. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Chris, for spearheading this. Um, it's sadly needed. Um, right. Hopefully, won't be as needed as we think. Oh, maybe, but I'm not going to speak on any of that uh, as my goal is to stay as neutral as possible in all things. All right. Well, I, I'm slightly less neutral, but I think that this is a safe statement. Um, there is there is a lawsuit going on uh, at the state level um, that is um, fighting against the statewide order to open the schools. Um, that, that, that being successful is the best case scenario. Ab absolutely. Um, but in the meantime, um, we're going to keep doing this just in case, just in case, just in case. Awesome. Uh, thank you, Chris. Uh, moving on, upcoming events. That's very light. We do not, we still do not have uh, a safe way to hold events at the at the space. Um, just because of the nature of social distancing and COVID. Uh, we are looking forward to the day where we can end that. Um, the next board meeting will be August 11th from 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. That should be the second Tuesday, I believe, and that will be virtual. And the next member meeting is August 18th, 8 p.m. to sometime. And we will make sure we're all in the same meeting next time. Um, we hope. <laughs> awesome box. Uh, Michelle says of Chris, Katie, Siraj, and anyone else she may be missing, they have been doing an amazing job with co coordinating PPE production for students and teachers. Mad props! Exclamation point. Right. Uh, Blackheart has been extraordinarily helpful in this. Uh, issue as well. And uh, uh, Chris, who's here on the channel, I think he's a new member. Um, he, is, he showed up um, uh, for a shift to help run the laser cutter. So thank you. Yeah, and I believe Chris started his membership process last month. Um, I'm sorry, it's been crazy with the board transition. Um, so I believe you might have com might be completed process now. I will, we will get, reach out to you. Uh, I'm sorry, I do not have a better answer right now. Um, is there any new people in the chat that need to introduce themselves? Let me look real quick. I do not see any new, brand new faces in here. 
So if not, that does conclude our meeting, unless I missed anything. I got a quick question for you after all the formals are done. OK. Uh, does anybody else have any business they would like to present uh, before we end the official meeting? I, I have a question. Yes, uh, sir. Is on, on, on Slack, is, is there a channel to talk about um, mechanical computing, fluidic computers, Turing tumble, that sort of thing? Not as, that yeah, I'm, as soon not as that you I'm make it. Of. Yeah, if if it's something that you wish to have to talk about and to doc, document any projects, feel free to make it. Uh, I do not believe there is a physical computing channel. OK. I, I don't we, have much to say about it, so maybe <laughs> I won't. Um, maybe I think there is a computing channel, which seems broad. Uh, but we do allow all members of our Slack to create channels. So if it is something that you would, you think people might be interested in, feel free to make it. Okay. Thank you. Does anybody else have any questions, comments, concerns? Happy birthdays. <clears throat> the birthday is Nick just went by and Katie's coming up. Awesome, Nick and Katie. If no one has anything else, I'm going to officially end the agenda and stop recording. Uh, thank you all for coming and we'll see you on Slack. See you at the space with, it, with proper safety and we'll see you next month. All right, goodbye. goodbye. Same bat time, same bat channel. Same bat time, same bat channel, different bat chat room. <laughs>